as you all know, and you know this better than anybody, um, you know, the one big lie going on about Ukraine back in, uh, in, in the rest of Russia is that no Russian soldiers are engaged, they're not dying, no body bags are coming home, et cetera, because there's overwhelming opposition on the part of the body politic in Russia for engagement in Ukraine in a military sense. Um, uh, do I think there, I think the Donbass has potential to be able to be solved, but it takes two things. One of those things is missing now, and that is I'm desperately concerned about the backsliding on the part of uh, uh, Kyiv in terms of corruption. They made, I mean, I'll, I'll give you one concrete example. I, I, I was, not I, I, but it just happened to be that was the assignment I got. I, I, I got all the good ones. Uh, uh, and uh, so I got Ukraine. And uh, um, I remember going over convincing our team, our <coughs> others, to convincing us that we should be providing for loan guarantees. And I went over, I guess, the 12th, 13th time to Kyiv. And, uh, and I was going, supposed to announce that there was another billion dollar loan guarantee. And I had gotten a commitment from Poroshenko and from uh, Yatsenyuk that they would take action against the state prosecutor, and they didn't. So they said they had. They were walking out to press conference. Said, "No, nah. I said I'm not going to. We're not going to give you the billion dollars." They said, "You have no authority. You're not the president." The president said, "I said call him." <laughs> I said, "I'm telling you, you're not getting the billion dollars." I said, "You're not getting the billion. I'm going to be leaving here." And I think it was what six hours. I looked. I said, "I'm leaving in six hours." If the prosecutor's not fired, you're not getting the money. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> got fired. And they put in place someone who was solid at the time. Well, there's still, they, so they made some genuine, s substantial changes institutionally and with people. But in one of the three institutions, there's now some backsliding. The courts are there. And the, yes. And they had made that commitment that they wouldn't do that. And so when we left, the first thing I spent uh, um, a lot of time, as did Mike, because this was his territory as well, and uh, people like Charlie Kupchin and v Victoria. And anyway, there, there were a lot of good people we had working on this. We spent a lot of time with Vice President Pence because I was worried that um, they would make a mistake as a, a there would be a sin of omission rather than commission, failing to do certain things or say certain things. And that was at the time when there was an alleged, or there, there was a grave concern among the foreign policy elite that maybe a deal was made to lift sanctions. Um, whether that was true or not, but that was the atmosphere right after the election. And, um, and so what happened was uh, um, they did some good things, and they now, what's his name, the guy uh, uh, they have over there? Uh, Kurt Volker. Kurt Volker, solid, solid guy. But um, uh, Kurt, as best of my knowledge, does not have the authority or the ability to go in and say, you don't straighten this up, we're, you're out of here. Because look, it all gets down to a simple proposition. 